What do you mean by a push-pull class AB power amplifier? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbridge Engineering community where I am making engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves the obvious question. What do you actually mean by a term push-pull class AB power amplifier? Well, let's find out. So, this here is the diagram of a class B power amplifier. So, we know for a fact that in the case of a class B power amplifier, when we give a particular input signal like this, we get an amplified output signal for the entire input signal. That is, for both the positive half as well as the negative half, we'll get an amplified output signal over here. But, 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 there's a huge limitation here. So, we know for a fact that we use two transistors here, Q1 and Q2. So, when we talk about transistors, we know something referred to as the cut-in voltage. That is, it is a minimum amount of voltage that is required for making this transistor to conduct electricity. So, cut-in voltage is the minimum voltage that is required to make these transistors to conduct electricity. So, in the case of a transistor, the cut-in voltage is 0.7 volt. So, because of this cut-in voltage here, something referred to as crossover distortion comes into play. So, crossover distortion is nothing but a kind of distortion that happens when the signal transitions from one transistor to the other. So, in the case of a class B power amplifier, we know for a fact that during the first positive half, this Q1 is on and therefore current starts flowing like this, but, 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 but. So here the voltage gradually increases. So unless and until this particular voltage reaches 0.7 volt, there won't be an output over here. In simple terms, we can see that there is a small distortion like this and only after this we get an amplified signal like this. Similarly, here also we can see a distortion factor like this as well. So here, there is this much amount of distortion. So here, it's a flat spot, it is a distortion spot. So this is referred to as crossover distortion. So here, we need to eliminate this particular crossover distortion. So simply, for the purpose of eliminating this particular crossover distortion, we use a class AB power amplifier. So in the case of a class AB power amplifier, what we do is that this particular biasing voltage VCC is now connected to a particular resistor over here, which is then connected to a particular diode like this. So this supply voltage VCC is connected to a resistor R, which is then connected to a diode D. So here, when this voltage VCC goes through this particular resistor, a voltage drop of 0.7 volt happens over here. And therefore, this 0.7 volt is now applied to both the transistors Q1 and Q2 through the base terminals like this. That is, with the help of this secondary winding of this particular transformer, it is passed to Q1 and Q2. And therefore, Q1 and Q2 is always on regardless of whatever signal is going through it. So now, now let us give this particular input signal over here. So now, let us say that we are giving an input signal like this onto this particular primary transformer. So this is a phase shifter. So here we have two transformers, T1 and T2. So T1 is called a phase splitter. Here, a phase splitter splits the input signal into two two halves, where this is one half, that is VAO, and this is another half, VBO. And VAO is exactly 180 degrees phase shifted with VBO. So here now, let us now see the case when we give an input signal like this onto the first phase splitter transformer over here. So during the positive half, VAO becomes positive, whereas VBO becomes negative. 
and thus since VAO is positive, this Q1 becomes forward biased and Q2 becomes reverse biased and therefore Q1 is on and Q2 is off and thus we can see that a particular current starts flowing like this and let us term this as IC1 and thus with the help of this particular transformer T2 we obtain this across the load resistor RL which is now an amplified signal like this. So here the advantage is that at even zero volt, when even zero volt is applied as the input, we get the corresponding very, very, very infinitesimally small output over here because this particular transistor is on because there is no crossover distortion because we have given the 0.7 volt here. And similarly, in the case of the negative half cycle, we can see that VBO becomes positive and VAO becomes negative. And thus, this becomes forward bias, this becomes reverse bias, and therefore this is on and this is off. And thus, we can see that a current starts flowing like this. Let this be IC2 and thus, this is now obtained with the help of this particular transformer across RL and we can see an amplified output like this. Here there is no crossover distortion and even at the crossover point that is even at zero volt we are getting an amplified signal of every single input signal over here. This thus is simply why we use a class AB power amplifier that is simply to eliminate the crossover distortion. Just with the help of this particular diode we can eliminate the crossover distortion. This thus is simply what I refer to as a push pull class AB power amplifier. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have clear understanding of what I refer to as a push-pull class AB power amplifier. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.